and welcome to Tights TV. Uh, we're going to have a, a bit of discussion about a so-called semi-final because we're, we're just going to Barnsley's second home, aren't we, Oakwell South? So, Andy, Dave and Ryan, great that you've joined us. Uh, you know, it, it was a, a bit of a breeze when once Andy, all that worrying you were doing about semi-final against Bolton. What were you yeah. taking it then at Oakwell? No problem, were they? No, no to worry problem, about it. No. Um, yeah, uh, absolutely have it, Moan. Um, I think we approached it well. I think have it two legs. I think we matched them, didn't we? Matched them pound for pound. Um, yeah, have it one. Just can't wish for now better. Um, only thing I think what did, um, I was a little bit disappointed on was you know, like things like going on to pitch, and I think that might get club into a bit of trouble and you know, a bit of. When me and Maddie were going out at ground as well, uh, some Bolton supporters got off at coach and mm. started scrapping in front of us. Um, so I think club might get into a bit of trouble uh, with that. I think that's the only thing I can take away that. Do you, think I'm back, do you think I'm back, Andy? Because I, what I watched as well, and I know that we put it out on channel and there's been a lot done on social media with club about yeah. the on pitch, and it happened at Wednesday at Hillsborough. But what I kind of, I'm I'm not condoning it by any stretch of imagination because we all know it finds what happened with yeah. Westfield and Everton and that. But I thought what were impressive for me about it is that since China went out towards like more or less gone and back, it more or less emptied out real any real incident. And I'm mm. thinking, would the EFL look favourably on that compared to what I've seen at other grounds where? They didn't go back to the stands. Could that, you know, I'm not. I'm not saying it's too, you know, right makes a wrong, but um, it kind of club did all that they could to try and manage it better. Yeah, they did. You know, what they I mean, did. stewards. I mean, at the end of the day, it's not club's fault. That you know, that they can't babysit all them fans, can they? Um, and yeah, I think club did best they could. Um, I mean, that that there were a fellow who had been carted off who kept. Uh, uh, game his ass out and uh, other bits as well <laughs> when, when it was passing us. Um, so I, I don't know, it was, it was a bit bizarre, I think. But uh, going on to the game, it's then can't wish for an out better. Um, proud of him. Um, I thought every player did the job, especially at back. Thought Thomas was brilliant at back. Me, um, no, can't wish for an out. I, I, and yeah, I'm really, really. Looking forward to it now. Um, playoff. Um, honestly, I'm, it's going to be brilliant. Brilliant. Dave, I mean, a game which, you know, both sides knew what magnitude was. You know, it's, it's been noting sides all through the season, to be fair. You know, drawn uh, drawn two, won one, lost one. But now we've actually got one over in playoffs as well. I thought that we approached game with intensity uh, straight from off. I think it showed that uh, pretty close early doors. Goal after just have, just after twenty odd minutes. Um, if I'm being fair, you know people probably say yeah, you're probably biased on that, but I don't think really Bolton really troubled that much. You know, Charles did a few sniffs, but not really major. Their shots were going wayward, which were great for us. But again, were, were you were you expecting a bit more from Bolton, Dave? I expected more than what they offered. Um, I don't know if it was a poor performance on their part or whether it was a, a decent performance on our part that's just stopped them playing. Um, as everyone knows, they're a, a team that based their game on possession. Hmm. And um, you could tell by the possession last night, you know, the stats, the stats were well in their favour um, for that. But they, we just didn't let them, do, let them do anything when they had the possession. You know, they, they rarely threatened us. Um, they, they never really looked like scoring. Um, the biggest chance they probably had was that free kick in the box with that pass back by Mads. Yeah. Um, maybe a bit of nerves on his part there, just um, you know, not wanting to give anything away and just losing his head for a, a second. But you know, the, the resulting free kick didn't trouble anybody. And I, I don't know if it was if it was us that stopped them. I don't know if it was nerves on their part, but I just think we stopped them playing their game. And you know, they looked a lot more. Threat, threatening in the first leg, I thought, at home. Um, whether the crowd had an impact on that, I'm sure it did. 
But, um, you know, the crowd got behind us. And to be fair to the Bolton fans, you, you could hear them singing as well. It was a great atmosphere from both sets last night. But I just don't think we let them play their game. And they just, they very rarely look like, you know, getting on the score sheet and very happy about that. I didn't expect it to be as comfortable as it was, but I'm not going to complain about it one little bit. Mm. Yeah, on about just fans and that as well. I mean, I could walk, uh, you know, going down to Grand, uh, Ryan, you could sense it, build up, you know, yeah. uh, band outside, vibe it, send all together. He walked in, you know, T4 in East End, great to see, great spectacle. And I think the players, you know, bought into that. Uh, fans made it uh, an atmosphere. Great mm-hmm. gesture on 61 minutes again with Beth Sefton. Yeah, uh, we all liked some back back. That were great to see from all uh, sides, uh, Barnsley fans. And again, I think we helped the players as much as the players helped us. You know, like what Dave said, Veer, it's it calmed a few nerves and probably they wanted the best, but we kind of helped the players give that extra five, ten yards in the step to close down and press down at times, right? Yeah. I, th- I thought crowd were brilliant last night. It was ma- the atmosphere was magnificent, wasn't it? And I think n- n- nicely it came from all, all sides of the ground as well, and not just from Ponce. I thought you know everyone everyone were getting um, everyone joined in with it, didn't they? And I think it re- we, we we really were the twelfth men last night. Hmm. You know, we whirled them over, and even even in that beginning of the second half where Bolton had a good you know 10, 15 minute period where they looked like they were getting back into it, didn't they? Without really trouble, they didn't really caught you know create anything. Um, decent, but once we, you know, once we got back into, it, we stayed, we stayed with them, didn't we? We stayed with the, we stayed with the team, and you know, we'll, we'll, we'll them over the line. Um, so yeah, we, we, it was fantastic. I just thought over the two legs, we were the better team. We were the better team, um, and we deserved to go through. If, if, even over the two legs, not just last night. If you look at the chances that Bolton created. There weren't that many. There weren't that many, and you, I've seen a lot of the fr- fans frustrated online, which you would be, you know, if I were a Barnsley fan, and it were it were it were, it were us that had struggled to put, you know produce any decent chances of at two legs. Um, I'd be a bit frustrated as well because they just didn't seem to work instead at all, did they? Mm. If you think over the two legs, when did he really get worked over the two legs? Mm. Not much at all. Whereas James Trafford. I had quite a few I had quite a few saves to make, didn't he? You know, he had quite a few saves to make. Obviously, Phillips hitting bar. Williams just pulling wide at right at the end. He probably should have given it to Norwood, but um I, you know, end of the day, I'm not bothered. It's 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 we're through, mate, and it, that 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 nervousness and everything's gone now. Um even though we've got the final still to come up, it'll not be I'll not be as nervous as I was at semi final. Because you know once no, no one wants to go out of semi final stage, do they? You lose, you know. So, you no, know, it's quite at semi finals. And we I mean, yeah. that were, I mean, just like what Andy was on about earlier. But I mean, we all know we had a bit of a joke and laugh and in seriousness. Yet, semi final, it were a bit squeaky bum time at times, Andy. Uh, yeah. And again, we've, we've got past that. It's on to Wembley. Mm-hmm. And again, you, you you know it's going to be fans are going to get behind us. Uh, we're on about it, stuff out about the coach and stuff like that. Um, and again, I think this is when we need to like all be there and turn up and be vocal. Like what Ryan said a bit earlier is that it was all sides, all, all corners at uh, home supporters, and I think that makes it even better as well because it gives Lionel to think about and yeah. the, the the referee. Uh, and to be fair, referee. I don't think he had that bad a game, if I'm being honest. Yet again, yeah. I thought we prop- yeah. we dropped on a decent officiating for that game. Yeah, well, they had that one, didn't they? They had that one for um, that penalty shout in second half, where I've seen yeah. I've seen worse given. <laughs> yeah, he won't, he, won't, he won't having any of it from both teams though. He won't having any of it. You know how many times were players throwing themselves on the floor when a, a player mm. would come up to them? They're throwing themselves on deck. He won't having it, and I think yeah. you know that's to be applauded. That because I, I it, it's one of the worst things that's crept into the game. The, the modern game is people just backing in, throwing themselves on the floor and getting a free kick. It winds me up. Yeah, um, they won't having any of it last night, referee. So I, I, like I said, the refing over the two games, I can't, I can't fault it. Um, I think I don't think there's much both teams can uh, both uh, 
clubs can can moan about, really. Mm. Yeah. And did do, do, do you agree with that? You know, of yeah, the totally two games. Mm. Yeah, totally agree. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I uh, agree with Ryan about players uh, going down, but as soon as they get a free kick, they're back up, aren't they? Not mm. wrong with um, But yeah, can't, can't fault uh, referees uh, of it last couple of legs. So yeah, you know, we could have had a lot worse. I thought <laughs> that line of um, all war at front to east stand nearest to away fans, sometimes I don't think he were quite sure, but. Uh, yeah, apart from that one. Yeah, it, we, said, we said that early on, he weren't sure what to do with throwing. No, mm. no. That were early on, though. That were early on in game. Yeah. But, yeah, kept it flowing. And uh, that, that's all you can ask, really. Yeah. I mean, call it, I mean we call it art. I mean, we, you know, we uh, give credit, we credit to the officials because we have been passed. Call it art for officials and referees. And yeah. it's only right to address it. You know, it's... As 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 bad as some of uh, decisions have been of the season, we'll call it out when it is, and it's for both sides as well. Because I know it, it's been in a problem for uh, EFL and league when you get other fans commenting on stuff in, in uh, comment section or on lives, and various frustrated as what we are. So yeah. again, yeah, fair play to uh, referees and officials for last night's game. Uh, Out soft to them, you know, can't you know can't fault it. Um, and like I said, we weren't buying up from either side. What like what Ryan said. So I mean, Andy, uh, Wembley bound, uh, going to be, you know, I know Duff said it's going to get players a, a couple of days rest, fully deserved, you know, recover from it and get back into yeah. it. But again, what he also pointed out and addressed is that come back in on Monday and we start again. You know, we're at Wembley. There's still a job to do, isn't there? You can't take yeah. it off at ball. It's not like the glamour tie. It's like this is it now. This is the game that you've played all season for, isn't it? Yeah, and it's spot on, isn't it? It's spot on, you know. Um, I mean, back of the mind, uh, I'm hoping, well, I, I think there will be, um, remembering that we've already done double of them anyway. Um, I, I know form goes out at Windy, especially at final. Um, but I'll be honest, I, Again, like Ryan, I, uh, I'm exactly the same. I think we're more nervous against Bolton than I am at final against Chef Wednesday. It's mm. um, it's a weird, weird one, weird feeling. Um, but I think we'll, I think we'll be all right. I don't think we've got no to fear. I'm never had any problems with his back line, um, which is always a plus point. Um, yeah, I, I'm. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, no, I think we'll give me. I think we'll all give a, a really, really good game. Um, and I'll be honest, I, I, I fancy his chances now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ryan, yeah, just going off from that, what uh, Andy was saying. <laughs> I mean, interesting that is that what Duff said as well. We bet him twice. We wanted to see side what bet him twice in, in season. But again, it's complacent not to come into it, and it's like obviously it's like a cup final, and it? it's like the yeah. the. The, the tie to uh, define each, uh, you know, one season. Um, and what I get with this as well is that I think both sides know what it's this day. I mean, Dan and Moore, any other time, they'd have gone up with 96 points. Bill know they've come back for sure of that, you know, um, against Peterborough, which surprised quite a few in footballing world in, in EFL. It's not going to be taken lightly. Um, and I think Duff. And Darren Moore, he'll address this as in, I think it'll be a chess game. I think it could be a completely different game what we've seen in, in Football League this season. I don't know what your take on that, Ryan. Yeah, well, it's, it's the, the importance of the game, isn't it? And also, both both managers having a good understanding of just how good each other are. Hmm. Um, and you can't, you know, it's not just three points, is it, that you're going for in the league? So is it, you, maybe not as much pressure um, when you play when you play in a league game because... Um, you know the prize is just is worth so much to to, to either club. So you, yeah, you, you're right. It could be. I mean, let's have it right. Wednesday had a great team. You know, they scored 97 points in the league, or 96 or whatever they scored. You know, there's not many teams score 96 points in a season, and near mine never get promoted. Mm. They don't get promoted automatically. So, you know, Wednesday are a really good side, and but they're a bit. They've been a bit hit and miss, haven't they? Of late, I think more or less since we beat them four two. They've been a bit and miss. When they're good, they're very good. And when they're not so good, <laughs> they're, mm. they're, they're terrible. 
Mm-hmm. Um, so it's which which Wednesday which Wednesday do we get? Um, I I, I th- obviously I, I'm not going to say that because I'm a Barnsley fan, but I think we can beat him. I think we beat him. Um, I think them two wins, although like you said, Fong was out at window. He's still in the back of everyone's mind that we can beat these. The lads know mm. that they can beat this team. Do you think that'll give up brand advantage, Ryan? Uh, what, sorry, Neil? Do you think that'll give players and Duff that bit of uh, upper hand advantage and belief? Or? I think so. I think so, yeah. Because, like I said, form does go out the window when it's a cup final, when it's a final, you know, because there's so much at stake. So it's not always it's not always the same. We're not comparing apples with apples. But having said that, this side are confident they know they can get they can beat this team. Mm. This group of players that we've got at Barnsley, and it can beat the group of Sheffield Wednesday players, and we've done it. We've proved that we can do it, and we, mm. the, you know, that that confidence will be key, and especially when it's tight towards end. We know we can do these lads. So, yeah. Yeah. so we'll have to see. It's going to be tight, is what it's going to be. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be tight, but you know, South Yorkshire derby at Wembley for a place. I mean, it's it's match made in heaven, isn't it? Really, it's going to be it's going to be great. It's going to be brilliant. Atmosphere is going to be banging. Bring it on. Let's go and have a great day. Match made in heaven, apart if it's South Yorkshire Police, we'll be probably having nightmares and headaches over this one, won't we? So, <laughs> uh, but yeah, Andy, uh, just, yeah, I mean, I, I got a call on Radio Sheffield overnight, uh, last night, actually, quite past seven, and we're like, if we're walking down, and I just like called it and said, you know, both two teams going in it on form, what a great advert, just what Ryan said, be, what a great advert for Yorkshire, South Yorkshire football, is that, yeah. Isn't it great that, you know, all being well, we come out, you know, on top. But two Yorkshire sides are nice to see. And red sides of uh, Yorkshire are going to come out the winners, obviously. Uh, we're going to say that. But I think it is going to be a tight game. Um, I won't be surprised if there's only one goal in it. You mm-hmm. know, Wembley pitch, it, it'll drain your energy, it'll sap your energy. And I yeah. think how we saw game out against, and this is what pleads for me as well, how we saw the game out against Bolton is that that's what we've been lacking in past few seasons. We've been a bit naive and still been going for it. When times eight go for it, but in times we're taking it to the corner, mm. do it. And I think that's the most pleasing thing to see in the latter stage of the game, especially what's going to be at Wembley. You'll leave them kind of players to turn up and say, yeah, you know what? Let's just do a job here. Let's just see it out. What do you think yeah. about that, Andy? Yeah, again, uh, bang on, to agree with everything there. Um, yeah, it, not all like stupid, daft mistakes. Um, I, I agree what you said about, yeah, it's going to be like a like football chess, if you want to pop it that way. Um, and yeah, yeah. Uh, totally agree with you. Uh, we are repeating what you've just said. Um, I don't think, you know, it'll be a very, very tight game and yeah, I won't be surprised if there is just one goal in it. Um, hopefully more if we uh, do, do fall behind but uh, yeah, uh, bang on mate. I, it's, you've said exactly what more or less I'm going to say anyway so yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, Ryan, tight, kind of touched on it. Tight, close game, two managers going for it, and more or less, you know, know what other one brings kind of table, don't we? Yeah, absolutely. I don't, I don't think it, it, it. I don't think there'll be it'll be one sided at all. Mm. I think it'll be, it'll wow. be tight all the way. So even though we beat Wednesday four two at Oakwell, it was tight all the way. Mm. It was tight all the way. You know, we got two 0 in front. And then Wednesday, Wednesday got back into the game. They dominated us for a good. You know, back end at first half. Majority at second half, they, they 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 were on top, and then they got the second goal, and then we got back in it. It were although it were four two, it it weren't really a four two result. We 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 certainly didn't dominate the game. Um, mm. I think maybe at, at Hillsborough we did. I thought we were a much better team at Hillsborough. That were early season though, yeah. so what we can we can maybe yeah. maybe write that off a little bit. But yeah, it'll be it'll definitely be tight, and I hope it, it keeps it exciting, doesn't it? It keeps it exciting all the way through, you know, and. and well, we'll have to see. As long as we come out winning, Neil, I'm not bothered. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. As long as, long, as, as, long as we win it, because it, you know, as great as it is to play Wednesday in final and have a South Yorkshire derby, you know, to have a local mm. derby in the final, it, it's amazing. But you don't want to lose it, do you? You don't no. want to lose it either, because you've lost bragging rights there, um, and they, they won't let us forget it either. <laughs> no. 
That's true. Because I'm it. sure we won't let them forget it if we win it. Oh, that's it. Yep, it only works both, both ways, doesn't it? We'll uh, rub, rub the salt in bones. Uh, and we will do a Wembley uh, special. Probably might do a Wembley special as well live. Uh, see if, what can work out with stuff like that. Let's talk about the, the game before live and get people's questions in. But uh, unfortunately, we lost Dave. He hasn't been able to get back on. But Andy yeah. and Ryan, appreciate uh, taking time out. Uh, probably can properly re recover like now and get some <laughs> sleep for them. We have got much sleep like my son in the back oh. four hours, keeping him all working. Like, so. Uh, I am. I've just come back from work. I'm being like a zombie, me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my manager shouted me over while I was um, sat at my desk saying, are you still awake, Andy? Said, well, uh, just. Just. <laughs> yeah, I feel like a bit bad. I feel, feel, feel like a bit hit by a train. I was just so emotionally <laughs> drained when I got in last night. My wife had got a couple, uh, some beers in for me last night and I had one. I was like, I am zonked. Like, <laughs> zonked. All my energy had gone. <laughs> all energy had gone. Yeah. Yeah, but all, all in a good cause. All in a good cause. I'll do, I'll, I'll do that all day long again. A week on Monday, I'll do Absolutely. that all day long. It's, it's, what, it's what we do it for, mate. It's what we do it? it for. That's what yeah. that's what we live for. Uh, yeah. Andy and Ryan, appreciate you taking time out. Please leave comments below as well. Let us know your thoughts about the game. And I, I think I know where it's always going to be. Uh, be interested to get your thoughts about you know your tech on Sheffield Wednesday Cup final, Wembley final, South Yorkshire final. Uh, going to be at Red Society South Yorkshire. What's going to be coming out on? Uh, happy uh, back up the M1. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share as always. Do and one thing I have to say, you reds. <laughs>